Okay, these are my hybrid peppers from this year, uh, 2013. These particular ones have done the best for me thus far, so I wanted to show them first. All my hybrids so far are based on Tabasco, a, a hybrid between Tabasco and Habanero. For some strange reason or another, that particular hybrid has crossed for me easier with other peppers than those peppers wanted to cross with either of the parents. And I've been able to take those hybrids and cross with other peppers and with other hybrids and with themselves to get some pretty interesting results. So I want to show you a little bit closer what I've got here. Okay, this row right here, all these right here, this is Tabasco crossed with habanero, crossed with jalapeno, crossed with fatali. Okay? And you can see there are different colors, different shapes, different sizes. This is what fatali looks like right here. This is the fatali parent. Uh, this is actually the father. You can see on this one here, the shape of that one, the one beside it, they can look kind of similar sometimes, but you can see some variation, like that one's a little bit wider. This one is a different color. The height on a lot of these can vary as well, just the, the growth habit, whether they're more sprawling, more upright, taller, shorter. The pepper shape, like this one for example, is wide in the middle. This one's more narrow. And these all have the exact same lineage. Now all the peppers that I've tried so far, as far as tasting, are extremely hot. As far as the, the amount of flavor, like sweetness, uh, varies from one to another. Now the second row here, these, this is Tabasco crossed with habanero, crossed with bell pepper, actually a black bell pepper crossed with Fatali. In fact, the actual one that I used here was in my video from last year. I managed to save a cutting and put it in my greenhouse. This was the seventh one, the one on the far right in the video of this same flower bed. This is the, uh, the mother, and Fatali is the father. And the same thing, same holds true. They're, they vary in color, size, shape. This particular one here, I kind of like it. The shape of it, it looks like it would be a very hot, very mean pepper. Uh, let's see. I like this one. Now, this is sort of a bad example, but it, see how deep the ridges are. This one was actually black, you see here, earlier in the season. There we go, it's a little bit better example. Of what that one looked like and you can see the uh, variation in color yellows same one color shape size can vary I like this one right here this particular black one right here it's darker. It's not quite as rigid as the other one, but it's sort of uh, crookedy. I don't know the correct term for that, but but it, it's neat looking nonetheless. That's that one. Now this next row here, the third row, is Tabasco crossed with habanero, crossed with jalapeno, crossed with cayenne. So cayenne is the daddy on this one. You can tell by, the, by looking at it. And even these the same. They can vary in color, shape, size, etc. There's another one. It's another one. See how that one is much wider. It's, it sort of reminds me a lot more of jalapeno. than Or the other ones remind me a lot of cayenne. This one's kind of in between. And then the last one. And this last row here is Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with cayenne. So there's no jalapeno in it.
and it's generally a little bit narrower starts out orange this one does and then turns red like that green to start with I have only two of those and this other one here this is a little bit narrower okay that's all in this flower bed I have some other ones in pots I will show the ones in pots for me don't do quite as well we've had a lot of rain this year too I don't know if that has affected them uh, but I'll show you those here in just a second 